Hello everybody, Glorian Sangvi here, and welcome to the next episode. So we're going to quickly watch the cinematic Wasteland Patrol, because I forgot this played at the end of Blackwater Station, and then we'll do Desperate Alliance. Looks like you mashed some poor feather's dog, Sarge. It's a Zerglin, Lester. Smaller type of Zerg. But he can be out this far unless... Oh, shit. I love you, Sarge. I'm on to Desperate Alliance. Uh, I love the look of the Sarge's face. Oh, uh, conversation. Receiving incoming transmission. Comm link established. I got your message, Magistrate. And frankly, I don't care what you have to say about Confederate regulations. You damn fringe world yokels are all alike. Don't know where your loyalties lie. Y'all have a real good day now, you hear? Transmission ended. The report you requested is ready. Sixteen Outland stations have reported sightings of the alien invaders identified as Zerg. The Confederates have arrested all standing militia forces and continue to avoid action against the Zerg. Three stations have fallen to the Zerg already. We've been unable to locate any source of military relief except the extremist faction known as the Sons of Korhal. Their liaison is holding online. Good day, Magistrate. My name is Arcturus Mengsk, and I represent the Sons of Korhal. You're familiar with the Confederate propaganda surrounding my group, but your reputation suggests you'll see past it. It's never been our practice to operate in any one place for long, but these Zerg don't look like they're going to wait. I'm going to make you an offer, Magistrate. I'd like to help you out by sending down a number of transports to your colony and evacuating any survivors. You know, of course, that my organization operates outside the bounds of Confederate law. That's why they spread their lies and misinformation. If you decide to accept our help, you'll be branded as an outlaw too. But it's a chance to save those people. Time to make a stand, Magistrate. Ending transmission. Priority alert. Evacuation zone under attack by Zerg forces. Distress beacon activated at 1220. End of briefing. So yeah, so I like the face of the uh, colonel. Yeah, is he, was his rank colonel? Yeah, it's like, really? You're gonna admit that to me before we die? Um, and also, aren't they military? Wouldn't they have guns on them? Like, I, I don't think it would save them from that many Zerg, but at least be able to put up a fight before you die. And yeah. Uh, that guy, it was just on the line, if you are aware of, if you're StarCraft lore, you know how m very important he is to the StarCraft, uh, story. <laughs> uh, but I ain't gonna spoil that here for now. But yeah, we should start the mission. This is a little mechanic, uh, buildings that are on fire is not just a visual thing. If they are below a certain health, they will actively start taking damage until they die. So repair them as soon as possible. We can take cover in these bunkers if things get too dicey. So 
So I'm just gonna up my resources. So yeah, so I'm just build a vent structure. Get in the bunker. Yeah, so bunkers are you pretty much only your ground defense. These turrets, they're useless. They are only good against air. They don't fight against ground as far as I'm aware. Oh, there's like a little cap, a little diner here. But yeah, the, you, the bunkers can hold about, I think, four infantry at a time. Doesn't matter what type of infantry they are. And they're pretty much your only ground defense. You have to put units in them to make them useful. But you could put like marines in there, you could put in fire bats, you could pretty, put, pretty much put in any kind of infantry that can shoot. So, your main goal is to hold the line for about roughly 30 minutes. So, this is going to be the entire episode. Um, here's the supply depot. I want to build a few of these. I can at least get a fire bat in a bunker. I'll grab some upgrades. Here we can build some vultures. Get you there. Uh, let's build a secondary bunker about here. As far as the camera can let me. Get some gun upgrades. Get the upgrade to this. Okay, boot a marine out. Get a fire bat in there. Ooh, here they come. Like, look, yeah, the, t the missiles aren't gonna fire. They're only used against air, and I don't think the Zerg use air on this map. At least not until the very end, so... You kind of have some useless turrets lying around? Like, I think the only thing they're there is to detect. Because these things can't detect stealth units. I think that's their only use. Like, at all. Uh, yeah, let's get a secondary bunker around here. Send a fire bat up here. Send this guy here. Him there. We may deploy some spider mines, but I believe we gotta build a workshop. Okay. Build that. Get the stim packs. Okay, we gotta research it at the machine shop. Yeah, so basically we gotta hold out for 25 minutes now. Okay, get this fire bat up here. I may also build a secondary bat. Is there anybody that's not currently building anything? Okay, you. Let's get some second. Let's get some like a secondary barracks up so that way we can produce units a little faster. Okay, let's get the vulture mines. A uh, vulture mines. Spider mines. Vulture mines. Uh, here we can do some scans. Here's some circ buildings. I believe you have no reason to go out there. This is purely defense. Which um, let's get some people in there. You're gonna be pretty much be on um, supply depot duty. If here comes another Zerg. Okay, move back a little bit so that way he comes a little close. Okay, he'll just die. I never noticed this thing like in the original StarCraft graphics. Like we got 
Terry's Armory. Uh, so you can see a bunch of armor in there. That, that actually looks pretty cool. Hover World. That sounds cool. I never realized these were meant to be shops and stuff. I thought it was like an actual wall defense. I and mean, we're keeping the populace somewhere in here. Uh, research Iron Frosters, faster vulture movement. That could be useful. Uh, we still haven't got the miniguns or whatever, so... Can't get the armor upgrade. Okay, you focus on fire bats. You focus on marines. Just keep up the supply depot. That way we can have a defense. Maybe build a couple more vultures. Ooh, we can lay down spider mines. So, you have are able to lay down a le free spider mines. They will... They're supposed to bury... There we go. They bury into the ground. And then whatever enemy that walks up near these things, these things will pop out, rush to that enemy, and then explode. Ode on that enemy. And they do a surprising ton of damage if, you, if they can do that. But of course, if they... If anything runs up here that can detect... They can honestly detect the spider mine. But the spider mine is really useful. The only problem is that the vulture can only carry three. I believe if you have James Ra James Rayner on certain maps, he can carry, I think, like, double that capacity. I think he carries, like, six. Okay. Here's what the missile turret's actually useful for. Which, uh, now that I think about it, I may build a couple more. But yeah. They can only fire air. I thought they didn't send air until much, much later in the map, but okay. If they're sending air right now, let's get the armor upgrade. If they're sending air right now, then I might as well start uh, building turrets. Uh, build... You stay on supply depot duty. You go up there. Did a Spider-Man go off? Was there something here? And wow, they build these missile turrets like fast! I'm surprised how fast they can build. Okay, they can't build them up there. of the marine production. So I think we have enough fire bats to deal with most of the ground stuff. Yeah, they put up these missile launchers fast. Okay, about 20 minutes. Manx, you better be sending in some good transports to get us out of here, because there's going to be a lot of troops. Ooh, there's a bit of a blind spot here. I'll build a missile attack. turret here. I hear weapon fire. Let's get some marines up there. Let's keep building marines. So I remember the rush near the end of that timer gets really insane. I'm definitely going to say there's going to be a lot of supplies here at the end of this map. Ooh, I better build more missile turrets up there. You want a piece of me, boy? You want a piece of me, boy? Where's this guy? There he is. Give me some of this shoot. Let's move. To stay on the roof and act as act as a uh, way to scout out units. Outstanding. Standing by. Outstanding. Commander. Oh, as I thought. Aerial unit. And somebody died. You want a piece of me, boy? May want to build another missile launcher here. Job I read you. 
Build another missile turret here. Um, I'm pretty sure you can do this. Yeah, you can definitely do this legitimately. I just thought that using show me the money will definitely be useful for a defense, seeing that we're basically not doing anything. It is possible to build a force to go and uh, take out the Zerg base, and I believe if you manage to do that, you'll end the map early. But seeing that we're supposed to be defending, I'm staying on the defense. And how is there not a fire bat in here? Get one in there. Okay, I think we just got our armor upgrade. Yeah, it was our armor upgrade. Uh, something to note, these optional, like, uh, building attachments for your uh, buildings, they do not take off with the building. As I will show, if we pick lift off, they stay on the ground. Um, well, the building takes off, so they do not lift off with your buildings. So if you want them to be useful, um, make sure you have the corresponding building attached to it. And it has to be the building that can actually work with it. Like, if I were to take this off and then plant this guy here, it will not work. Uh, let's launch a scan to see if we can find... Oh, you can do this as much time as you want, as long as you have, um... Power? Oh, right, since it technically has, uh, pa yeah. I, it's not called mana in this game. I think it is just called, like, energy or power. Okay, I love where your head's at, but please stay with the rest of the group. I don't know what you're doing so far out. Mar Sahada. District 7. The mining of the future. Well, it's not going to be the mining of the future today because the Zerg's overrunning the planet. Oh boy. Uh, are there going to be any more attacks? Or are we being lulled into a full sense of security. Reporting for duty. Well, while we're waiting, I might as well keep building. Building up my forces. Send guys over there. At least we'll get some kind of building going. I think we have enough vultures. Where is the next attack? Why is there no attack happening? You want a piece I'm surprised we've gone this long without an attack. Let's scan around. Is there an attack happening? Well, there's activity happening in the base. I see a multilis. I I don't know the exact pronunciations for the Zerg units. I know most of their pronunciations are very weird. Apparently, your gun took damage. Private. Oh yeah, I forgot, Corporal. Yeah, I forgot. The units technically have ranks. I think the more they get kills, the higher they go in rank. So yeah, he's a private. This is a corporal for some reason. A fun fact about... I forgot I could zoom in. Fun fact about the fire bats. I believe these are supposed to be criminals, actually. Like, these are criminals that are forced to serve sentence as flamethrower guys. Which, I mean, I guess that's a very extreme way to deal with your criminals. It's like, you either die through some miraculous way and hopefully your suit doesn't explode like if you took like a random bullet or something to the tanks and so don't suffer some kind of punct uh, puncture it's like yeah I believe in the Lord these are supposed to be like criminals all serving the army 
And where are the enemy? Why has there been no attack? I mean, I... I know they give you some time between attacks in this mission to like build up your force and gather resources and whatnot, but I thought that would be like another attack or something by now. Uh, do we receive an attack at the 10 minute mark? Like where's the enemy attack? I'm really- there's the enemy! And the spider mine is not getting very much use. It's like popping out and being like, oh no, the target's dead, so I'm gonna chase after the target. <laughs> spider mine, you're being very, very not useful. And you died before you could be useful. I don't even think you killed the target. Okay, guys. Get out there and actually kill. Do not let the bunker fall. Where are you? Come and repair the bunker. Yeah, so. Here we go, missiles! Marines, shoot them down! Yeah, fix this. I mean, these guys are having a chill time watching from the roof. I'll use stim packs if absolutely necessary. Okay, we're getting there. Well, we're pretty much approaching the 10 minute mark. So, not much longer this mission, but I believe now the attacks are going to start ramping up. Right away, sir. Yeah, and the factory is the only advanced structure we can make. Ten minutes until dropship arrival. Thank you for that advisor. What are you on? At what is this fire bat doing? Is he dancing? What are you doing? He's going back and forth, back and forth. Either he's trying to dance or he's really, really impatient and is, and is pacing back and forth really quickly. His pathing must have messed up because I presume he's meant to go, he was going back to his original position. Ooh, I don't see a lot of spider mines out there. Uh, let's go out there and plant some spider mines. Yeah, I'm going. I dig. Yeah, I'm going. I dig. Now go back to safety. What are you on? Oh, is that it? Vulture Spider Mine. Okay. Eight minutes. Man, he's still pacing. He is not getting tired. Let's move a guy out of the way and let's see if that fixes his pathing. Yeah. Where are you going? Okay, apparently you want to hang out here. What are you on? Oh, I forgot the academy did this. If you click on it, <laughs> you hear like this. From it. Like, is somebody being tortured in this building? Like, I know it's an academy, but I don't think we should be hearing torturous screams. Which, by the way, I hope the music isn't too loud, because again, sound in voices and sound in music are in the same channel in this game, so can't really do much. I hear an assault. 
And it was a very uh, pathetic one. I, did a Spider-Man go off? Because I don't see the one that was right here. So either it got up and exploded, or the enemy detected it and killed it before it could do anything. Oh, but we're getting near the end of this map, thank god. Just as a precaution, I'll start building a force to guard the base. Hey, so this is in case these two sections fall. Because I think if the HQ get goes down, we fail the mission. I think that's the fail condition. Piece of me, boy. Okay, where is the bad guys? How are you supposed to get into this diner? Now that I look at it, it's like, how are you supposed to get in there? You want a piece like, of me, boy? do you only get in there from inside here? You want a piece of me, boy? Your forces are under attack. I guess that's supposed to be like the drive through or something. Oh. Hustle list coming from this end. And I think the spider mine killed this, but also killed the fire bat at the same time. Okay, so note for the future. Spider mines do damage. Well, they, well, no, duh, but they can also damage for the units. Good to know. Actually, let's get a good look at you. I like the idea of this uh, builder unit where it's like a dude inside of like a mech suit. I think it's a cool idea. Okay, we're pretty much approaching the three minute mark now. If I remember the final assault is gonna be like one big massive wave. Let's do some scanning out there, see if we can see any of the enemy. You can see a Surg running around. Oh yeah, we're seeing a lot of their base. Or expire and whatnot. This is what you have to try and destroy, and there's a lot of Zerg buildings. I think it's this case where every Zerg building and unit has to die. Okay, here's some Zerglings. Which are hustlers. Hold the ground, boys. Way to go. I'm just waiting for the big rush. It's gonna happen. It's either gonna happen in the two minute mark or the one minute mark. Bunker. Any moment now. Where is that? Got mine at Terry's. Okay, here comes a big air force. These guys on the roof are finally doing something. 
We're making a big push on this end. Vulture, get involved. I'm surprised nothing's coming this way yet. Okay. Reinforcements are on their way. Man, they're making a big push in that corridor. I may need to send everybody up there. Base is under attack. One minute until dropship arrival. Better get here, Minx. Is that it? Okay, where's that final rush? I know there should be a rush coming. Where is it? I guess I don't make one final rush unless it's on hard or something. What is my difficulty? I need to actually check this after the mission. But there we go, we should be getting transports. I hope that's enough for everybody. Yeah, I need to check my uh, difficulty after this, so I think there should be a little something after this. Three hours after the evacuation. No! is suspended pending an official investigation of your film okay let's cancel that i thought there was supposed to be like pictures and whatnot well okay well i'll end things off here and we'll go to the next mission in the next episode